Hi everyone, this is uh, Ben from Witchings Fitness. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, running analysis here for my brother, Andy. Um, so he's been getting a little bit of knee pain. Uh, so in this video, we're going to see the before, a um, little bit of exercises that we did to improve his posture, and then um, some after. And we just went out for a run uh, for about 20 minutes and he was feeling a lot better. So. This is his before video. This is a slow jog pass. And you can see if I pause the video here, what is the first thing hitting the floor is his heel. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. And like these are sped, uh, so the first run is quite slow. So you can see really where the impact is happening. It's gonna strike in his heel. He's landing with a straight leg. And so it's the right knee that's actually getting the, uh, the issue here. Um, and so that all that impact is going up straight into his in his leg and probably the reason that his knee is hurting. He's also got a bit of a tight hip, um, but I think really the impact is is what's causing the biggest issue here. So, um, so that's the first thing we're gonna do. So if you wanna record this yourself running, by the way, then you can um, film yourself running up and down like this, but also speed up. So speed up your running because as you speed up, you're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see a lot more of that heel strike. So he's starting to go a bit faster here and it really starts to emphasize that strike in the heel. You can also see that he's got his shoulders pulled right back and he's got a bit of an arch in his lower back. Um, his head's quite far back, so that's quite good. He's not like leaning forward or anything, um, but we're gonna do a bit of core activation um, to sort this out. So we'll sort that out in a minute. It's going up and down. He's kind of bounding quite a lot as well. So here's him running even faster. Obviously you can really see this heel strike now and then this thing is the last one. Look at that big heel strike there. You can see his shoe squishing uh, down and, uh, and then you can see a bit better this sort of overextension in his lower back here as well. So here's him running from the front. There's actually no real worries from here. Like what I'll be looking for is the knees diving in, but his knees look pretty stable. You can still see the heel strike there. And then from the back, this is where I noticed that his glutes weren't really working because you can see his butt is kind of flying around almost um, in the back. Uh, and I think when he was running it, you know, you can, sometimes you can feel that if your bum is not activated, then um, yeah, it kind of flops about it, sort of hurts your spine. So you can see how much is moving in here. This, this one needs to be a lot more stable, really. Um, so here we go. This is after a little bit more coaching. So he sped up his cadence. Obviously he's running in full speed here. So he's running a lot, lot, uh, a lot better here. Let's just slow this down. So he's landing much better now. So he's got, he's really landing. He's still slightly on the heel, but the landing is a bit more mid foot, which is much better. That's really what we're looking for. We don't want to be landing, smashing down on that heel too much because of all that impact going through it. So he's, he's got a much quicker pace. It looks much nicer. He's still sort of, there's a few things where he's not, he's not quite pulling, pulling up with his hamstrings so much. We want to want to have him pulling a bit more so his foot's not flying out the back here. We want to have him pulling straight up rather than sort of flicking his heels out. But his landing is a lot, lot more improved. So that was just after a bit of coaching. Um, the next bit is him doing some exercises. And then what we'll do is, so I'll show you these exercises and then we'll see his before uh, his after running technique so okay so we've just done a little bit of running analysis for andrew and he needs to strength activate his core um so that his imposture is improved during the running so i'm going to show him how to do hollow hold for the core and then we're also going to do some glute activation to imp again improve his posture for when he's out running so if you start by crunching up pulling your belly button in, crunching up, flattening your lower back into the ground, and you're gonna pull your shoulders down into the pockets as well. So you're gonna use your lats to engage. And what I shouldn't be able to, should not be able to put my hand underneath here. So he needs to scoop in his belly, like pull it in, that's it. And he's shaking a little bit, which is good. Now, we wanna straighten the feet out. You might be able to do this. If you can do that, point your toes, feet squeezed together. And if you can do that without your back arching or your belly blowing out, Andrew, Scoop, belly button in. That's hard, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and relax. Okay, so he's gonna do 10 of these. Up, hold, engage, and then relax. 
So off you go, scoop in, start in there, good, and then lift your feet. If you can't do the lifting of your feet, then what you can do is just leave your heels on the ground. So Andrew, if you show us that. So just bend your knees, leave your heels on the floor. So bend your knees a little bit more. That's it. So you can sort of leave there and you can just do the crunch of your upper body. Scoop your belly. Scoop in, scoop, scoop, scoop. That's it. You saw that little scoop at the end there. Just pulls his belly button in a tiny bit. Okay, cool. So that's a really good one to do for your core activation and it will help you with your posture running. Okay, right. So we are going to do some glute activation now. We need a mini band for this workout, this uh, thing. So little mini band, resistance band is going round his ankles or his shins. The further up the towards the knees, that's the easier it's going to be. We want to make it a little bit harder for him. So we're going to have it. Well, that's a horrible sound, Des. Um, <laughs> We're going to have it down on his ankles. So first of all, he's going to put his thumbs on his on the bony bit of his hip. So he's just going to find the bony bit of his hip, and he's going to point his thumbs forward. So these are his headlights. We don't want these headlights twisting off the road, <laughs> or rather going out to the side like that. So if you just swivel your hip, we don't want him doing this when he's walking. Okay, so we want him pointing dead forward. Also, he's going to tilt his hips. So his penis is pointing up to the sky. Ladies, obviously, you won't be able to do that. But, you know, get the gist. So he's squeezing his bum, he's tipping his hips under a little bit this way, so he's tilting forward. And then, gonna drive forward with the feet. So you're gonna step forward, and he's pushing out slightly, and then he's gonna control this foot in slow, and then push out. So he's not just walking stiff-legged, he's controlling in, and that makes the glutes work a lot harder than if you were just kind of walking with the miniband. Okay, you can squat down a little bit, and you should be feeling it, in his glutes here. Can you feel it? Yep. Cool. Some people might um, really struggle with this, might be feeling it more in your quads. And if you are feeling it in your quads, it means you're probably not tilting your hips under enough. Once you've done about 10 steps forward, go 10 steps back. Doing exactly the same technique. Okay, good. And then we're gonna turn and face to the side and we're gonna do exactly the same all the same technique, but we're gonna step side to side. And this is gonna really help him drive forward from the hip, help him stay supported, because your glute muscles are one of the biggest muscles in your body. So if this is hanging around out the back, flopping about, then you're wasting a lot of energy and you're not supporting yourself correctly. And Andy's been getting a bit of knee pain, and so this is gonna really help him stabilize, the, uh, stabilize his knee whilst he's running as well, and improve his posture. One of the interesting things about your glutes as well is if you, if you rotate your foot out, so if you turn your foot out like that, that is your glute muscle doing that. So that helps stabilize the knee. All right, there you go. Glute activation done. Let's go. So here's Andy running after all of the coaching and all of the exercises. You can see he's a lot lighter on his feet. And you'll see in this bit here, it's just so much better, like where he's... He's got it now. So we're on the spot. I'm just going to sort of lean forward at the hip and you'll see it just glides forward. And I'll play this again in a minute with the sound from the video because it's, you can hear how much less he's doing. It's good. And let's just do this one more time, slowing it right down. So I'll just do 25%. I don't want to be here forever. Let's see him. So now look where he's landing now. He's much more midfoot. He's still slightly heel to be fair, but landing slightly on the outside of his foot, rolling the foot in rather than um, striking down with the heel. That's much, much better. There you go. Cool. All right, now we'll play the uh, full video. Same, same. Don't drive. That's it. And stop. Just go on the spot again. So quicker feet. Try not to slam you. not trying to slam it in. You're just trying to pull it off. Use your hamstrings. A bit higher up. Okay, nothing, bring your arms up. Nothing changes now, apart from you're gonna squeeze your bum. That's it. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> Look at that, it's quiet. All right, there you go. Thanks for watching. I hope you find that useful. And if you wanna get in touch with me, it's Ben at Witchings Fitness, uh, or you can uh, contact us on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, make sure you get on our lockdown running challenge. It's totally free. I've done loads and loads of videos to teach you all about how to run, um, try and make the most of your time. It's four week 
uh, program and um, it's designed to really teach you the basics of running maybe complete your first five or 10k or even better improve your time whatever you want to do but the idea is really run for life you know don't just run for a time don't run for a distance run for the rest of your life enjoy running and that's what this can teach you i've been through not being able to run to being able to train up to an ironman uh unfortunately i didn't get to do the ironman but i did run for three hours during training uh, which was a real is unbelievable for me when i couldn't you know i had lots and lots of problems with my own running and uh this stuff really makes a difference it wasn't until someone taught me how to do this this style of running that it just massively reduced the impact going through my body i had pretty much every running injury known to man um used to be in the army used to have uh so many running injuries from running with boots and backpack no one ever taught me how to run but once i learned it really makes a, a huge difference so get involved uh and enjoy see you later cheers